I do like how this game starts kind of similar to the first game and also Demon Souls. The first level is just a giant castle-like area. So great looking. Okay, let's change what we've got going on here. Embers, fire bombs, and then I'll just keep the Ash and Essen fla Estus Flask at the end here. So a big thing this time around is you'll see like everything is slowly disintegrating into ash. It's very gray. Not a lot of fire going on. It's less colorful, I think, than even the first game to just show how far into this cycle of the fading flame we've gotten and how desperate the first flame is to be rekindled. Um, we don't need to go that way yet, so we'll come back there later. We'll just go pretty straightforward here into the first area. I feel almost bad killing these people who are just, like, sitting around doing nothing. They will attack you, though, if this guy with the, uh... This guy with the, uh... Lantern signals them to. But honestly, I think it is worth killing a lot of them right now, just because, you know, every little amount of souls now is worth it. Uh, I think this playthrough I'm going to do just very similar to my other two, which is uh, try to find as much as I can. Try to do as much as I possibly can. Um, there's There are two NPC quests that are mutually exclusive, but I find that one is a lot more uh, engaging than the other. So I'll probably do Cirrus's instead of the... Uh, Rosaria's finger stuff. I don't even think there's really anything up here. Except chairs! They like gather around the dragon. It's interesting. Wait, where is. I haven't been up here probably since my first playthrough. I don't even know what's up here. Oh, it's something. Binoculars! Ha! Finally! Just what I was looking for. The key to the end boss. Binoculars. Oh, I don't know if it's a dragon. Am I allowed to say that this is a dragon? Or is it a drake or a wyvern? Oh, jeez. Uh, also, upgrading is a lot more... Uh, I don't know if I'd say finicky in this game, only because at the beginning you get exactly as many upgrade materials as you are meant to have. If that makes any sense. So you can't really upgrade... Can we get this? I think we get that at a different spot. But at the beginning, like, upgrade materials for the level that you're currently at are very sparse, so you want to make sure you spend them on the weapons that you want to be using. So you can't really afford to be uh, upgrading a bunch of different stuff. But later, they'll be so plentiful, you won't even know what to do with them all. Look at Big Jake kicking when he actually wants to kick. Uh, you know what? We can kill all these guys by coming up here. Yeah, sniper scout for sorcerers, exactly. Let's not mess around with this. Ha! <laughs> Thanks for the souls, idiot! Okay, so I'm gonna wait for him. Ow. Yeah, to do that. Um. I'm gonna wait for him to breathe fire one more time. Please? Go ahead. You can do it, buddy. Go ahead. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Ow. 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 
please, please stop. Okay. And we scramble inside this building. <laughs> Maybe I went a little preemptive there. Uh, interestingly enough, killing that dragon nets you very little, but we will do it because at the time that you do kill it, it's it's completely worth it. It's it's very worthwhile to do uh, in the early game, but it's going to be one of those where we sit there with a low-level bow and arrow and take forever to do it. Oh, look! It's our old friend, Mr. Mimic. Go ahead. Yeah, if you get grabbed by that, it's pretty much instant death. Oh, buddy. Just playing it safe. These things can kill you early if you're not careful. They do a ton of damage. Yeah, sure, Classic, you're talking about uh, a luck build, thinking it's like a joke. Keith actually did a luck build, and he, he was doing like a luck hollow build. It was pretty cool. Your main character's rolling with 99 luck. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, we've made it. And by we've made it, I mean we have to fight one of the hardest early game enemies. Like, genuinely, really hard. <laughs> These Lothric Knights are, uh, very challenging early games, so I'm gonna be backstab cheesing them a lot. Uh, another thing you can do, they don't have a lot of poise, so just two-hand your weapon and go ham. Uh, it's kind of the only way, in my opinion. And if you're curious, we're right above where that dragon was. You didn't have to run through there, I just wanted to kill that mimic. Um, but if you're curious where we are, um... The dragon's right up there. So rather than coming up this way, on the bottom path we went above. That's all. And we open the we open the little shortcut. It's not really a shortcut, but you know. These guys are like undead assassins, sorta. You'd go luck build for those juicy drops. That's what I thought in my very first playthrough, but it doesn't benefit you in any other way. That's the problem. It's just not useful. No poise for Jay. Yeah, poise in this game, it just doesn't... It doesn't really make a big difference. It sucks. I was so into poise. Um, so we have two Titanite shards. I'm gonna go upgrade my sword. Um... It just sort of sucks that uh, poison in Dark Souls 1 specifically was, like, huge. Now, it's not nearly as important. But for real, I think Lothric Knights are the hardest ga hardest enemies, some of the hardest enemies in the whole game, easily. Especially because you encounter uh, them so early. Me. Okay, here we go. Pretty Plus one. Be careful. So I think I'm going to, um, I'll probably infuse early, uh, like a raw infusion. Which is good early as you level health and endurance because it basically removes all your stat scaling on your weapon and just gives it higher base damage, which is good because we don't have very high stats. Uh, eventually when we get higher stats, we'd replace it with something that would do more damage. But as of right now, a raw infusion actually would be pretty good. I'd like to get a Lothric Knight sword but they're not easy to kill. So, please stop. Like, I can try this guy again. Ow. See, and if you try to circle them, they, they, ba they shield bash you. It's actually quite clever. But yeah, if you have an opening, you take it and you just bash away. Um, and that's that's the interesting thing because they're they're very aggressive and they do so much damage I think players might shy away from just going for it, but if you start attacking them it works You just 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 hit them and <laughs> just go for it
Vort's Great Hammer. I was thinking Vort's Great Hammer. I think that could be pretty fun. Um, we can't do anything down here yet, but I'll go down here just to kind of show you what's up. What the, what the deal is. You got this guy who's super mad and, and large for some reason. But yeah, the larger hollows obviously have more health. That's locked. For early Lothric Sword, you could always get the coin as a burial gift. Good point, yeah. That would have been smart. I always thought there was an enemy in here. Where did he go? Nailbreaker, that's a early rapier. I'll probably farm the, the Lothric Knight Sword off camera in between the next this and the next stream if we don't get it, and we probably won't. So there's an NPC in there who's trapped. Uh, it's a, I think that's, I find that to be a reference to the grave robber from, uh, Dark, uh, Demon Souls. Because in Demon Souls, the demon, uh, the, the grave robber is quite a sympathetic and friendly, sympathetic and friendly character. And so is the guy that's in there, who we'll meet later. Some throwing knives, that's good. We can use these to pull groups of enemies to us without getting too close. Again, I don't really remember where things are in these early levels because I haven't played like original new game for a long time and in my new game plus and plus plus I just sort of ignored most of the drops so I may have to backtrack a little bit here or there this is a trap uh, we're coming up on another um, pretty challenging early game enemy Uh, the trick to this, and they put it right in front of it, and kind of force you to pick it up. I'll show you. So you think, oh, a big group of silly enemies that we can kill and some loot. You pick it up, firebomb, and this asshole turns into like a big creepy flesh monster like Gundyr. Very weak to fire though. So you blast them and then you get in and do damage. But its attacks are, like, really hard to predict. I really hate them. And we may die to this thing just because our, our second... Uh, oh, this might work. There we go. So you gotta, like, stun him with fire. And then get an attack. If we would have taken the fire gem early, this would have been, you know, like, no joke. Or it would have been a joke, I should say. Because he just seems, remains perpetually stunned. But because you have to do it that way, it's a little bit harder. Oh, okay. It's our first crystal lizard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please. Please. Please stop. Nope. Okay, there we go. So there's a raw gem. It's actually very tempting to backtrack and to just infuse now. We, I think we would do significantly more damage if we did that. But let's push on. Getting some souls. His loud, his loud screams are obnoxious. Yeah, um, better get used to things shrieking. That's going to be a, a consistent theme of this game. Lots of shrieks, unfortunately. Yeah, it's sort of like Bloodborne, really. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to go here. This is a trap. Okay, goodbye. Juked! More firebombs, that's good. Um, rather than just hopping down here right away, we're gonna go a different way. Oh boy, black firebombs. Where the hell? He survived! He survived that whole way! I'm furious. <laughs> Even loot screams at you? Yeah, that's that was so irritating when I played it. Got him. Okay, so let's go take on this big bad guy on campus. You'd think this would be one of those enemies that... 
that um, doesn't respawn, but he does. And I will just backstab him to death. Don't do that. Don't do that. Whoa! An actual undead god, this large man. There we go. Not as scary as they look. Now, we're actually very close to the boss of this area, but um, there's some there's a shortcut we can open and a lot of stuff that we can pick up. And I'm definitely going to go and infuse my weapon before we do any of that also. So let's, uh, let's just walk around here and pick up what we can find. Is there anything else down here? Uh, I think I'll just go and unlock the shortcut now. That'll be- that's- I think that's the best thing we can do. This asshole wanted to trap me. I say nay. Soul of a deserted corpse. Or a deserter's corpse. Freed's Great Scythe? Yeah, Freed's Great Scythe is cool. I'd love to use that. Is this the shortcut? I honestly don't know. Oh god. Alright. Yeah, this is the way to the shortcut. The other stairs were to something else. We'll go back. We'll go back! Well, okay, let's actually open the shortcut before I just... There have definitely been some items that I've missed so far, so we can go pick those up. Go for the early dance of the Boreal Valley? Good God. I couldn't even imagine. Couldn't even imagine doing that right now. That would be terrifying. Throwing knives? Just what I've always wanted. Okay, there's another big one. Now, the nice thing with, with straight swords, uh, depending on the amount of endurance that you have, is you can stun lock a lot of enemies. Now, you might not have a lot of poise, but some enemies do, so you want to make sure that it's an enemy that is actually uh, reacting to being stun locked, because some just don't, unfortunately. Oh my god. Oh! Did you see that? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is this is this is very poor. Oh, this is this is not good. Nope, nope. Kill this guy. There he is. Okay, come on down here. Ooh, that could have been bad. We're right close to the very first bonfire again, so I'm not. Oh, missed time that. See the little little delay there that they like to do. So at the very beginning, you remember I said that there was, like, another way to go. This is it. Have you heard about this pontiff guy? They have cur curved, curved swords. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to having to fight Pontiff on New Game again. Um, just because, again, I, I used a summon for it, which was fun, but I want to uh, try to do it myself. Seems like it'll be a lot harder. Um, let's get a Firebomb out. You can kill these guys before they transform, but they only drop loot. They only drop loot uh, if they've transformed. So it's absolutely worth waiting, I think. Ah! Ah! Please, please. Okay. There we go. These things can kill you in one or two hits, so you just, like, don't fuck around with them. Nice Ember and Titanite Shard. Soul of a Proud Knight! Alas, we are we are shamed knights in this playthrough. We were unable to fulfill our duty. Where I'm gonna say we're a we're a shamed 
Lothric knight out to avenge our kingdom and our duty. We are carrying around the the soul of our comrade, our our best friend, our battle brother. That's what that was our burial gift. Perhaps we'll hold on to that. New game plus all summons for fun. Yeah. I'm deciding if I want to use any summons here. I don't know. There was one window up here I'd like to go back because I, there was loot. I don't know what it is, but I missed it, and I think you get it by going up here. I'm pretty sure. Stop. Don't do that. Literally everything shrieks at you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it. you can drop from up here. Again, if there's loot that I can see, I swear to God, I will I will find a way to pick it up. If there's something that's like blatantly hidden, and I miss it, that's fine. But if I can see it and I like I can't allow myself to just pass it up, yeah, it's right here. I should have done this earlier. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh. I don't have that many homework. I guess let's just progress like normal. It's fine if we go through this again. It's not a big deal. Give me the extra souls. That's fine. This is... See, Jay Burrito, this is why you get over-leveled. You got over-leveled in the first two games. Because you go through multiple areas when you don't have to. Oh, and I forgot that the dragon is here. Dude, this guy knew I was going to kick him. He's a god. Kill all the other ones. Kill all the other ones, dude. There's more up there. Blast him. Kill him. I guess if we go this way, we also have an opportunity to kill the, uh, the Lothric Knight again. Or get killed by him. We'll see. Okay, obviously we don't want to stand here. So we're going to move a little bit further up. Uh-oh. Wow. Hitting a guy while he's still getting up. I see how it is. All right, big bad Lothric Knight. Let's go. These guys are also parryable. That would also be a really good way to take. Oh god, that would be a really good way to go for it. Is just parry the shit out of them. But I just, I'm not confident enough in it, and they would just kill me so fast. That'd have been awesome if we would have gotten one there. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to run up to this bonfire, warp back to the first one, and we're going to go through the shortcut. Actually, we're just going to get our Estus back. That's fine. It doesn't matter if you're overleveled when enemies can one-hit you. You're absolutely right. Let that guy casually leave. There's a better spot to farm the sword. We can do it at another time. But the Lothric Knight Sword is sort of like the Baldur's Side Sword from the first game. So we did a dark build in Dark Souls 2. So what I plan on doing this time, and I did this in my first playthrough, but I'm going to change it up a little bit this time because I'm going to focus more on faith, is um, it's like do the Baldur's Side Sword shield combo, but make it a fire dark combo as well. So it's kind of a mix of what we did in both instances. All right, we know this is a trap in advance. What, you can't hit the, hit the guy on the ladder? Okay, so for example, if you just run up to this guy, you can just kill him before he transforms. He they don't drop the Titanite shard more than once, so just like go and just go and take him out. Alrighty. So I know we've already been here, but instead we're gonna go this way. And you'll find some weirdo hiding behind pots over here.
Uh, Undead Hunter charms are excellent. Uh, I'm going to keep those equipped. Uh, we'll deal with that guy later. <laughs> Let's get, how many shards do we have? If we get to plus two early, that would be insane. We only need one more to get to plus two. I don't know if we'll find enough in this area. Again, they're they're very particularly placed, so you can only get a certain amount to get to a certain level at a, at a certain time. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that, that should have been a backstab. Let's, come on. St stop doing that. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that guy, I should have killed that guy who's outside. Same with these guys, but obviously with their shields, they're very effective at blocking you. We can use our weapon art. That's something I haven't talked about. But uh, you can see it. Use some of my focus meter up there, the blue bar. That's your focus, is your mana magic, whatever you want to call it. Um, every weapon has a weapon art. So like the long swords, it's basically if you're two-handing your weapon and press uh, L2, you go into this stance, and then you can whoosh, break enemy guards. If they have like a shield up, it staggers them and you can repost. It's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go this way first. There's a way to drop down up there, but if you drop down, you can't get back up. Well, you can get back up, but we'll do it in a specific order. Parry in DS3 is much easier than DS2. I 100% agree. Did Jay kill the Swordmaster? No, I'm going to leave him until we uh, get locked in the tower and make our way out that way. And we'll kill him kind of in a natural progression. Um, okay, so there's a ton of enemies down here. This room is very dangerous at early levels. Um, so we're going to do our best to pull enemies one at a time. It's just like Dark Souls 1 also. The mimics, if the chain is curved backwards, it's a normal chest. If it's, uh, if the chain is moving outwards towards you, then it's a mimic. Please? So, I would like to clear out all the enemies that are here first. Uh, excuse me? There we go. We should take them out carefully, one at a time. Could use the binoculars for this also. So I'm just going to stay up here and I'm going to lure them one by one. Because there's three of these big guys down there and fighting them all at once is just sort of a death sentence. There's a lot of forgiveness using a 100% physical block shield and I will not apologize for it. <laughs> it makes things just so much easier for me. If you kill him, you can summon him for Vort. Yes. And assuming you kill him before uh, Champion Gundir, you can summon him for that, too. Hey, what? Kick God. Or was that me who kicked him? I'm not sure. Get fucked. Uh, I'm definitely going to do that raw infusion uh, before we fight the boss. But there's some... I, I just want to get all the items that are down here first. Uh, clear out the area before the boss, then probably backtrack. Get the stuff. There's our first Estus shard. Wahoo! What a treat. You know, I don't think we found any rings yet. Is this a ring? No, it's a cell key. I guess we should go and let that guy out while we're here also. Okay. Couple things here. So we can... There is a way out down here that leads back out to that weirdo big guy. Is there anything to get out here? Nah, okay. That guy's not as scary as he looks though, that's for sure. We already killed him once. Uh, but, oh, and see, now we can get plus two and we can infuse with raw now that we've done kind of all this looting. We've pillaged this area significantly, so we can, oh, we, you know, we can come back, uh, go back to Firelink, use our souls to upgrade our weapon, maybe get a few soul levels, and we'll be in much, much better shape for the boss. 
as well as all the stuff outside of the boss room, which is, you know, a little scarier. Green Blossom. I should put those on my bar. Increases stamina regeneration. Those were really rare in the first Dark Souls for some reason, but they, they're pretty abundant in this game. The Astora Straight Sword is pretty good. It actually used to be, I think, the best early game weapon that could possibly exist. That's since been changed. I think it got significantly nerfed. People used to do a raw infusion on the Straight Sword, and it was, like, insane how good it was, but now it's uh, not quite as good. So, we, you know, I'm, I already put a point or a level into the Straight Sword, so I'm just going to stick with that. I might be able to wait for this guy to plunge him, but instead I'll just kill him again. Ow. I don't remember how to get that. There's a roof over there that we can get onto, and I don't know how we get to it. I actually be from inside the courtyard. Oh, uh oh. Okay. That can kill you pretty quick. Give me a drop. No drop. Okay, so I could use a homeward bone, but instead, again, it really doesn't hurt to get some extra souls by this point. Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, it doesn't hurt to get some extra souls, so I am going to just run back to the latest bonfire where the shortcut is again we'll go back to fire link we'll do raw infusion get an extra level on our sword um and then come back and try to kill the first real boss i guess unless you count iudex gun gear irithyl straight sword into freed's great scythe the only thing with the irithyl sword as i've said is that it does you can't scale it with oh i didn't even Whoops, okay. I guess this is how you get those items. Um, it doesn't scale with any stats, and you can't infuse it. So it's like, it's a big letdown. I don't know why they didn't add some sort of ice scaling. I don't know what stat they could have used. Great door shield for maximum disrespect. Yeah, but then you gotta play all the way through the Ring City to get that. We could do we could do a New Game Plus playthrough where we do like a more idealized build after I've accessed all the items and more soul levels. Proper weed shields? Are you talking about the do are you talking about the door shields? What is the... Are you talking about uh, Grass Crest, I assume? The first boss is kind of too easy, even if you're not leveled up much. I agree. Gundyr is not very challenging. Well, neither is Vort. Vort killed me on my first playthrough, I will have you know. But I don't think he's super easy. You gotta know his timings and stuff. So even if you have the slightest sliver of stamina... You can take a hit, a full hit, on your shield, uh, and it'll stagger you like that. But as long as the enemy doesn't have a quick follow-up, you'll have an opportunity to either block or roll. It's pretty nice. Okay, this is a nightmare, trying to get back up through here. I could just run, but there are too many dogs. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Coco, don't watch. Imagine if Frost scaled with Faith, yeah. I think the issue is, is they added more elements. There's only two really elemental uh, stats, which is Faith and uh, Faith and Intelligence. If they would have added that instead of it's added a new one instead of Luck, that would have been so much better, in my opinion. Somehow we're still Embered, which is cool. That little um, that little fiery visual on our character. That's only if you're Embered. Which is just, it's awesome looking, and the d different armor sets look even cooler eventually. That's all we care about, is looking cool. If you're Pyro, it's very easy. Yeah, see, that's what, if we would have just taken the fire gem, it would have been a joke. Uh, all all this, this whole beginning section is so much easier. Okay. Let's reinforce our longsword. And then we're going to transfuse it, or infuse it, rather. 
we have raw gems. So he can do fire at the beginning of the game. So let's see. So we're going from 151 damage to 177. So that's just a straight upgrade. Pretty be careful, I don't <laughs> And again, we won't have the coals or the gems to upgrade to an elemental infusion for a while. So uh, there's not much point in putting Welcome, um, souls well. into soul then levels taken. that we won't be using at this point. So that's why we're sticking pretty much with Vigor and uh, Endurance for now. Uh, I am going to put some points into Dex. I think our health is okay. It could be better. But we got to get to 18. I'd like to get to 18 Dex as soon as possible. I know I have an extra great axe. Let's just start. Let's try to stay on top of selling junk. Ashen one. Uh, and then eventually, as I've said, I'd like to go and kill that dragon. We have a long bow. We need to buy a shit ton of, uh, need to buy an absolute shit ton of, uh, arrows though. What are you planning to build into eventually for this run though, Jay? Uh, I want to do, uh, uh, primarily a faith build leading into a faith int build for a chaos slash dark. Lothric Knight Sword. Uh, and either a chime or a shield in my left hand. So while I did increase dexterity, it's not going to affect my weapon, just because keep in mind, uh, we removed all... We removed all scaling from our weapon, so that might have been a mistake, but again, we still did more upfront damage. No drops, huh? So we're gonna go let that guy out of his cell. We're gonna go let that one guy out of his cell. We wanna do that early. I actually should have done that before I went back to Firelink, because we wanna go and talk to him early. Now we're doing way more damage. The problem with Frost is that it's not really a damage type. Yeah, they should have at least allowed you to either infuse on top of it or improve the stat scaling in general with it. Now it just feels kind of toothless. You're disappointed to find that Dark Infusion in Dark Blade doesn't give Dark Dark Blade. <laughs> One thing that's also interesting is dark the Dark Moon Blade... Uh, miracle is actually magic damage. Thought it would be dark, but it's not. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then, huh? Yeah, dog. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. And he disappears into smoke. Uh, we've got a ring of sacrifice, but I don't... I mean, if we die, losing these souls is fine. Okay. I don't think there's really anything else to do here now. So I am going to teleport to where the shortcut is. We can't go through that locked door for a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to go in through where the... the sh I'm going to warp back to where the shortcut is, and then we're going to... Uh, go fight the boss. Then we'll go back to Firelink, spend our souls. We'll talk to Grey Rat now that he's there. And see if anyone else wants to speak to us. 
you got him killed in your first playthrough. Well, I don't really want to spoil any NPC quests, but uh, Grey Rat's quest, uh, the end of it, uh, I won't even, I won't even talk about it. Uh, here we go. Now we can practice our running by enemies strategy. Here we go. Gonna hop here, hop here, run. Man's gonna swing at us. I've gotten better at running by enemies. It's always been a, a, a flaw of mine to want to kill literally everything. But some bosses, if you're dying to them a lot, you're just like, I just gotta get the fuck out of here. Also get in the habit of sending elevators back up so that when you die, you don't have to wait for them to come back up. Get the... Ah! Okay. Now, unfortunately, our way to Vort is riddled with enemies. Challenging enemies. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We can always just go back to the bonfire. Don't go too far away from me. Please? There we go. Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good damage against these guys now. Oh yeah. I don't think I have any rusted coins, but this guy is probably the best one to farm the night sword from. If we're really lucky, we'll just end up getting it, like now, but I doubt it. Right, looking good. So live a proud night. Um. You have to go, so the boss is in here, but you have to go the other way anyway if you want to proceed past the boss. So let's just do it while we're here. At the very least, if we take too much damage, we can then come back. God, I, ha I really hate these the spear knights. They're such a pain in the ass. I just don't know what the best time for an opening to start hitting them. There we go. That'll do it. Excellent. So you notice these uh, these guys here that have the chained turtle shells? These are the pilgrims that you saw in the opening cinematic. Really vague on what they're up to. There's a bunch of guesses, but I'm not really clear on it, to be honest. I'm stuck. I'm stuck against the wall. Okay. See, if you can, like, sneak one hit in there before they get you, you can break their poise. So important. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God! Holy shit! <laughs> this is the luckiest thing that's ever happened. Holy shit. Wow. I mean, the pro I mean, I've already upgraded my longsword, so and I don't have the stats yet to wield this, but that's incredible. Wow. I mean, we need another raw gem and we need more titanite shards, but that is extremely lucky. And the uh, the Lothric Knight Shield is a direct upgrade to what we're using if we can get to 18 strength. That is genuinely incredible. I mean, look, I was going to farm for that off camera anyway. But that is incredible. The Lothric Knight Sword is, is one of the best straight swords in the whole game that I plan on using for most of the game. So that's, that's extremely lucky. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. 
You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Okay. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Okay. Unkindled one, go through the, but the va Okay. So she already said all that. So now it's nice you can change your covenant very easily in your inventory now. So we're going to be way of the blue because we don't have anything else right now. But I plan on doing some PvP later on through this playthrough. So way of the blue is like it was in Dark Souls 2 where if you get invaded, um, if there are any blue sentinels around your level, they'll get summoned in to help you. Um, we can go and fight a sort of mini boss who's up here. Man, I cannot believe the luck with that sword. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten plus two or, or made my sword raw. I would have done that just straight away on the Lothric sword, but... So I'm not going to be using that for a little bit of time because of the stat requirements, but also the, uh... This guy does a boatload of damage, by the way. Um... But also, I, I want to make sure I have the, the upgrade materials to make it worth it. Please... No! Oh, God. Please. Okay. Okay. You get a guaranteed refined gem from this asshole. That basically, any enemies that have red eyes means they're, like, elites. And he's got, he's got a blue cape. See, he was just up here standing over the grave of his other Lothric knights. Yeah, I yeah I thought about it, like trying the dancer now, but good god, that would be so hard. But also, I, like I I kind of want to just play this in the like a straightforward manner, just so that folks who are watching might uh, kind of understand more what's going on. Time for Ember. Try Rear. We only have two Estus out of the five that we could have, but I guess let's go and try it. I don't think I missed any particular loot. Vort of the Boreal Valley. You're gonna see a lot of this of the Boreal Valley stuff in time. So this guy you just wanna be like right on top of. Get right on that big booty. So he's an outrider knight. He's mad. run around him. Might actually just be able to kill him right now. Hit him in the butt! Yep. So he goes into that phase two where he goes back and forth three times, and after that he just stands there and shoots some, some cold breath. We're doing real good damage for this point in the game, though, so I'm less concerned. Um... Vort served as an outrider knight, never far from the fleeting dancer. So you might see people talking about the dancer of the Boreal Valley. That's who that is. We'll see her much later. <laughs> 